Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hobbits. Today, looking at a beer from Marvel, not in the States that I've already reviewed beer from, but Marvel in the UK. I can't remember, I think I did some tastings of their beer in a tasting kind of vlog thing when I was in the UK, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, based in Manchester, Manchester Marvel, and uh, they make some pretty nice beers. So, the reason why I got it, you can't usually get their beers in Denmark, but a historic beer that I'm a big fan of, Surprise Old Ale. And uh, recently, they came together with Fuller's to recreate prize oil, re-release it, blend it with some of the original beer, and age it in different barrels. You couldn't get it here, but you could buy it on their web shop. But they did not ship to, uh, or ship outside of the UK. So I shot them an email, and the guys there were really cool. They said, actually, let's try and figure this out, see if we can do something. And they figured out a courier. It was hella expensive compared to usual shipping. So they were actually kind enough to say, okay, we'll put in the beers and a couple of new releases free of charge and then you just pay for the shipping. So thanks a ton to Marvel. I really had to seek these beers out because that was a historic beer for me back in the day and re reboot version of that will be fun. Uh, it's a uh, Pinot Noir barrel age something, I don't remember, I think it's a dessert wine, Madeira and Burp barrel aged versions of Prize Old Ale. And I'm gonna do it side by side in a video with the original last bottled Prize Old Ale from the original Horndean Brewery Gales. If you follow me on Instagram, and Facebook, you've seen I uh, talked a bit about it. So thanks to Marvel for, for making this happen. You know, it's, it's crazy cool because it's one of those nostalgic beers for me. But this will be fun. This is going to be my first hoppy beer from these guys. Uh, I think I don't think I tried anything from them back in the day when I was in the UK last. But this is their fourth, uh, and this is quite newly released as well. But this is their Tokarlovsky Session IPA on 4.7%. It says Marvel can beer produced to Anglo-Russian standards. So Session IPA, 4.6% uh, or 4.7% made with uh, Southern Hemisphere hops and Northern Hemisphere hops, the blend. Now, I know one of them is Southern Hemisphere Cascade, which is pretty cool. And this is a tribute to their head of, head of sales and his wife. So it will be fun to try this one. And the other one I have, it's the they, they added three cans. One is actually a extinct beer style, which will be fun to try in Edinburgh. And the other one is a tribute to Dimebag Daryl. So that's really cool. Uh, but... We got the Tucker Lovsky Session IPA board, and that is, wow, that is clear. That almost looks like a Pilsner. It's been a while since we had, it's got a bit of chill haze, but it's been a while since we've had an a IPA on the channel that's not crazy haze bomb. But it looks very nice in the glass, very, very pale. Frothy white head on there. Looks pretty nice. Let's check out the aroma. Right. This smells old school West Coast IPA, like old, old school, like it reminds me of Picking, it reminds me of something like the, like a more grapefruit, maybe oriented version of something like Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. It's just got that classic Cascade aroma. And I think it might be Pilsner malt they made this with, or maybe it's just pale. I don't know, there's something in there that reminds me of Pilsner malt. Yeah, sweet kind of crackery maltiness. There's an undertone of stone fruits, but this is just classic old school IPA on the aroma. Loads of grapefruit, some kind of sweet citrus lemony notes. It was pretty refreshing. Let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers, and thanks to Marvel for helping me getting the price of the little beers and including this one as an extra. Crusher. <laughs> you can drink a lot of this. Very lemony, grapefruit. It's very old school. Uh, it doesn't have tea leaf and not cloying malt, which is really nice. It's a very, as you see, I mean, of course, this won't have cloying malt if you look at that color. Um, very crisp, very clean malt profile as well. Um, it's got a little bit of a snappy bitterness without being crazy. It's got a nice bitterness, um, but it's not like the crazy West Coast, you know, dragging on bitterness. No, not at all. Uh, with the lemon and the sweet kind of citric character there's a lot of grapefruit there's also a bit of pine on the back end uh which i think cascade is pretty much known for i'm not sure what the other hops are but to me cascade really shines it's fun to try that because i haven't had cascade in years in, in like just like standing out like that but it's very nice it's not like session ipas are usually not my favorite type of ipas i prefer regular ipas but i think this is pretty nice session IPA as well it's not going to blow your mind but just well made very refreshing beer uh, perfect on a hot summer's day which was recently or Winter's Day when I was in Madeira. I just got back actually, uh, not too long ago. But uh, yeah, rating wise, let's go 85. Really nice crusher, 
Again, not a mind blow, but just well made session IPA with some more old school flavors. So, if you guys had a chance to try the Marble Tucker Lovsky Session IPA, let me know what you thought of it. It's also dead fresh, straight from the brewery, which is really nice. Some sometimes session IPAs, I feel like they don't last as well uh, co compared to regular IPAs. They drop off a bit quicker, but uh, I think that's the lower ABV maybe and stuff like that. I'm not entirely sure really. But uh, this tastes super fresh and tasty. So check it out, guys, if you get a chance. I think it's easy to get in the UK. Not sure about how their distribution is outside of the UK, but they do have a web shop, so check them out. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, guys. Check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and let me know what you thought of the beer if you had it. And I want to say cheers, and see you guys in another beer video.